What's going on guys, it's your boy Drills back with another tutorial, sorry we've been away for a while but I've been busy moving house and all types of stuff so for this video I'm going to be showing you how to put a car in a test server, this will work for different types of items, obviously you'd need to name the files different and stuff but for this one I'm just going to be showing you how to take a car file and basically get it in a test server so that you can test your cars when you're trying to tune them. Now this particular server is a QB server, I will explain how it works on a vMenu server which is a lot more bare bones and basic so we're going to be doing this one on a QBox server which is a QB server so yeah without further ado let's get into the video. Alright so first and foremost obviously you're going to need a car file for this one I'm going to be using the PolyCypher so I've got the file here if you look inside the file it's got all the right meta files and obviously it's got the model files and the texture files inside. Now if we go back obviously you're going to be needing a test server, this is a QB test server as I've mentioned. So we're going to go ahead and open this test server. Now inside your server you're going to have artifact folder, this is not the one, we want to go inside TX data for this. So go ahead and click on TX data and then click on the QBox or QB core and then we're going to go inside our resources folder. Now this is obviously where we keep all of our resources and you're going to see each folder has got a little name with those brackets. Now. We're going to create one specifically for our cars so we're going to put the two brackets and we're going to name it cars like so now basically all the cars that we drop into this folder like this one i'm going to drop into it now as long as we ensure the folder then all of these cars will be spawnable in game so next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to obviously edit and ensure on our cfg file so if we come back a couple of steps and we find the server.cfg so we're going to open up our server cfg and i already have mine open but you're going to want to scroll down until you see these insured resources you might want to put a couple spaces below but i'm just basically going to be typing in insure and then um, as before i'm going to do the two brackets with the cards to ensure that folder just make sure we hit file and save on that and to be honest with you that is it now any other cards that we drop into that folder will now be spawnable in game so i'm going to go ahead and boot up my server and i'll see you once it's open okay so to spawn the car we're going to need the name of the actual model that's inside the folder now this folder does have the same name as the car model um it might not do so just make sure you go inside the stream folder see what it's called here and you're basically going to use that name before the dot to spawn the vehicle in so i already know what this one's called it's called polycypher wagon so i'm gonna go ahead and open up my tx menu so for this i'm gonna be typing slash tx and then i'm gonna go down to vehicle spawn hit enter and then i'm basically gonna type in the name of the car so it's polycypher wagon uh, it's actually only 1G, that was a typo, and then I'm going to hit it oh, and the car's going to spawn there. So, and that's it guys, it's easy as that, so you can spawn in your cars. Obviously if you're tuning them, you might want to be getting them tuned up before you give them over to a server. So if you do put this in an actual server, there's a few more steps that you'd need to take. But for as far as testing purposes goes, like this is how you're going to get your cars inside your server. So that's pretty much it guys, thank you for watching the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, as always I'll see you in the next video, it's your boy Drills, over and out.